Hey guys, welcome to Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone here with you. Hope you enjoy the following vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog here on Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone with you. I want to talk about the after effects of the NHL. The whole thing that went on. Yeah, I was talking last time about, you know, the, after the Habs had beat Toronto and I was all pumped and ready to go. I mean, we went through well. We did quite well going all the way to the, to the finals. I was just very happy and I was just sitting on the edge of my seat and chewing my nails down to the quick, watching to see what was happening. As a diehard Habs fan, I do have to admit I was, I was scared we weren't going to make it. It just didn't seem that it was in the cards for some reason. Um, the, I, I have to admit the refereeing just did not impress me. away from Florida they're they're a great team they played well it just there was just some things that just didn't seem to work like there were penalties that should have been called and there were things I have to say that I'm still proud of the Habs they did a phenomenal job this year Carey Price you're still a man you know I, I will always be in your corner and I will always say that you are I think you should have won the Conn Smythe trophy personally I think that was a ripoff you know, if Florida's going to get the cup, at least give the, the Conn Smythe to him, for God's sake. Don't, you know, don't take everything. You know, leave something for somebody else. Like, kind of give me a break here, you know. Try to make it equal along the way. Anyway, all things being equal again, I say, Habs, you did really well. And like I said, I'm really proud. I'm, I'm still a Habs fan. I always will be. I will always be in your corner. No matter what happens, you're still the team. You're still the team to beat. The other side of it was the fact that I was worried that if you did win the cup, I was worried about what was going to happen in the city with those few people that seem to like to stir the pot. You know, they start breaking things and turning over cars and doing all the things that people shouldn't be doing, you know, because it happened you know, once there when you beat Toronto and the fans were... I mean, I don't think real fans would do that. I really and truly don't. That's not what fandom is about. And it's a shame that there's just people out there that want to take advantage of a situation and cause trouble and do things that they shouldn't do. And unfortunately, you know, one does it, then another does it, then another does it, and people don't think it through, and then things happen. And Why? What's the point? Anyway... You've got to be not thinking, especially in today's world with all the cameras, all the cell phones, all the things going on and all the social media, people posting pictures and videos and things. You're going to get caught. It's 1984, guys. Big Brother is watching no matter what you do. Think, McFly. Think. You know? Anyway, it's just... And I hope you do get caught, personally. I hope you get caught and I hope you get more than just a slap on the wrist. You should not be doing that, celebrating a happy occasion and then taking the wind out of people's sails. I'm sorry, I have no sympathy for you if you get sent totally up the river. None. No sympathy whatsoever for me. Good. Go. I just don't think that's right. And that's not the way to celebrate. That's not the way to do it. Don't take advantage of people's happiness. Stop doing that. Those were the two points I wanted to make about the NHL, about the Stanley Cup. Again, Habs all the way next year. Let's hope we got her going. I'm with you again. Take care. We'll talk soon. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Superlative Radio. Come back anytime. And when you do, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. We really want to know what you think. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other because that's the way it's supposed to be.